Okay, so picking up the video of 1275 East 2100 Road. And I am now at the front of the main house here. Um, so the main house has this little deck on it, which is quite cute. Seems like it's held up pretty well. And this house has the same type of like plastic sort of siding on it that that smaller house has. So to the right coming off of this porch, it brings you into kind of like a backyard play space that's all fenced in on the side of the house. So we'll see that coming out of the house proper, but we're gonna go ahead and go in now. Okay. So inside the house and here is the view from the front door. So you walk in and there's a pretty large open living room space here. Um, would look laminate floors. And again, with the vinyl double pane windows throughout the property. So windows are pretty large. They would let in quite a bit of light, I think. And then you've got sort of like an encased support beam here and the what looks to be a chimney here so we'll see what that turns out to be as we continue to move through so into the dining room space in this property which is again quite large the ceilings are very tall in this property and everything feels very light and very airy as I'm walking around in it. Um, okay, so turning to my right, we're going to hit our first bedroom here as well as um, some stairs that go upstairs. But we'll just look at the first bedroom. So this is the first bedroom, which is right off of the living room space. Um, and as you can see, this room is carpeted and then you do have a little bit of a storage closet here, which it looks like there's plaster inside the storage closet, but it appears that the rest of the proper walls in here are sheet rocked just by their patterns. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs if I can figure out how to do this fancy baby gate. Oh goodness. Okay, maybe we'll just come back to that once I figure out how to do it. Um, okay, so into the kitchen then. So kitchen does have granite countertop, kind of a darker subway tile. And as you can see, they've set the refrigerator into the wall, which is good for space saving, but of course um, you would not be able to just buy any sort of refrigerator because it would really have to fit in that space. So going beyond there, we're gonna walk into the laundry area of this house. And the laundry area also appears to be tiled. And you've got a little bit of storage here on the back side, and you'll notice they actually have their microwave on top of their refrigerator, so it's not sitting in the kitchen. And we're gonna go down the stairs here, which head into the basement. Um, but first, we're gonna see garage. So here is the single car garage space. And it does have a little bit of a butt out here for storage potentially. Um, a little bit of a butt out on that side. But as you can see, just, you know, pretty standard single car garage here. So back out of the garage and we'll go down into the basement of this property. So the steps that I'm standing on are clearly cement. Yeah, and I, this is, uh, you know, an old cellar sort of basement. That's what we're looking at here. So you've got the old stone foundation that they put mortar on top of. 
um, and you can see that the ceilings are pretty low. I mean, I'd say they might be six feet, but then of course you've got some pipes and vents and things that are hanging down. It does smell relatively dry down here. They've got a dehumidifier running. Um, but given that it's this sort of cellar basement, I would say it's not ever gonna be completely dry just because you tend to have seepage with this type of basement. Um, but I would say overall, very dry. Um, so walking around, you can see the rest of this kind of storage sort of area. And again, couple of dehumidifiers running down here, as well as the furnace and the water heater, which looks pretty good. I mean, you can see evidence at the bottom of this where water has come in, but again, that's not surprising given the cellar basement. Okay, so we are going to walk back into the main house now. Sorry, I know that was kind of an interruption on the video. Okay, so going back into the main house. So we're going through the kitchen and we're gonna see the other bedrooms on this floor. So um, there's one more bedroom on this floor which looks like you know, what they're using as their master. And it's got, again, very high ceilings. So even though the footprint of the room is a bit smaller, it feels very open because the ceilings are just so high. And then a little bit of a step-in sort of closet space here. And then walking back out, we get into the master bath, which is a three-quarter bath. And you have vanity here and then coming around the corner your toilet okay a little detail on that window okay i am going to now try to mess with this baby gate again so let's see if i can figure it out <laughs> 